Everything about me is already regretting doing this video. <laughs> It's gonna cause so much debate, but let's get into it. Did you know 90% of all the organisms on earth are underground? And by underground, I mean the soil. And in a teaspoon of soil, there's somewhere between 10,000 and 50,000 individual species of microbes in it. And if you were to take that same teaspoon and count out each individual microorganism, there'd be more microorganisms than there are human beings on the planet. So it would make sense why gardeners want to ensure that these are preserved. And one of the great debates is whether or not synthetic fertilizer is harming one of these 50,000 species of microbes that are in a teaspoon of soil. And I'm going to try to answer this in three parts and discuss the three major reasons why synthetic fertilizer may or may not harm your soil. Now, always keep in mind, there's really no wrong way to garden. So don't, don't get too nervous about this. And I'm pretty darn passionate about this because my thesis was on the differences between organic and conventional farming and the effect that they have on the soil. So keep that in mind. When it comes to looking at the soil nutrients from a soil scientist perspective, the first question is, can I tell the difference between nitrate that is organic and inorganic, phosphate that's organic or inorganic, and all the list of the 17 essential plant nutrients? And the answer to this, drum roll please, absolutely not. That is not even a debate. We cannot tell the difference where that nitrogen has come from, where that phosphate has come from. We can't. We just simply can't look at it from from that perspective. So on to the next point. Number two is the salt. Everyone's always hung up on the salt in synthetic fertilizers. And I don't know where this came from. It was probably an influencer's fault, to be honest. But the salt in synthetic fertilizer is not the salt you're thinking about. If you're thinking of saline soil where no, nothing grows, or you're thinking of table salt, you would be entirely wrong. When we're referencing salt in a synthetic fertilizer, we are referencing the chemistry definition of salt of when a acid and a base come together and form a molecule. That is a salt for all intents and purposes. It has nothing to do with salt. So because of that, organic fertilizer and inorganic fertilizer both have salt. And if we over apply either of these compounds, we can end up with some issues. And let me clarify, the issues have nothing to do with the salt. The issues have to do with the over application of those nutrients. And I have so many videos on how each nutrient can be over applied and what kind of damage it can actually do to your crop. Number three. And this is number three that's gonna, you're gonna hurt me over this one, is that synthetic nutrients are more concentrated, meaning there is more nutrients in a smaller volume of product when compared to an organic fertilizer. Now, because of this, that intense influx of nutrients actually increases microbe activity slightly. Now, the reason for this, before you hang me out to dry, is because the nutrients that's added to the soil is a source of food. If you look at any, any cycle of nutrients, whether it be the nitrogen cycle, the phosphate cycle, you name it, microbes are involved. And microbes are involved in eating said fertilizer. Meaning if we put an abundance of it into the soil, the microbes are going to eat it and multiply, kind of like we do. So for microbes, they, they move quicker. It's like every 20 minutes, some of those. <laughs> buggers can make more babies. So what you can do is use a combination of diversity and responsible application. So I personally use synthetics and organics in combination. I don't have an issue with synthetics because I use them responsibly and I know that they're not harmful. Now, what I will say is if you're using synthetics and organics, really diversify the organics you're adding. So don't add the same manure or compost or worm castings to your soil. Pick different brands, pick different varieties from where it came. This will all help increase that microbe species count within your soil system. And of course, don't over apply. Don't over apply when it comes to organics and don't over apply when it comes to synthetics. It will harm your plants. It will actually deplete the flavor of your plants. It will also harm your soil microbes and it can actually harm the environment as well. We just did a video on this. So keep that in mind. But ultimately the truth is it may decrease diversity, but whether or not it damages the microbes that thrive with it, I mean, it's still up for debate.